guest, you may know him as the anchor of Channel 69 News in the Morning and News at Noon. He's on there several hours a day. Mm -hmm. Does a great job of reporting the news. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Haciel Cordoba. Yeah! yeah. Mr. Cordoba, thank you so much for doing the show. <laughs> Welcome to pretending to be on television. Uh, so your show is a real show. <laughs> yeah, it's real. How does one go about getting one of those? <laughs> oh, man. I, you know, I went to college. I majored in journalism. And I got a job behind the scenes at a TV station in Chicago right out of college. And I made a tape of myself on TV in my mm -hmm. downtime. Because my regular job was to, you know, hand out scripts to the anchors and help the producers get the news on the air. But when I wasn't doing that, and I had some free time, I would go out with reporters and put a tape together. And pretend to be on TV? Yeah. It works, <laughs> guys. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. The last year of my life has not been for nothing. This is great news. <laughs> and then you send that tape all around the country, and you just keep your fingers crossed that someone likes it and hires you. And then that's how you get on real TV. Excellent. I got to give it to you. Those news stories that you mentioned at the top, I, I, I hadn't heard a lot of them. That, well, we, uh, <laughs> we get most of the, we go to your website for a lot of the stories. <laughs> I, I had no idea. That must about be from the evening news. Because well, <laughs> you're on, you gave me your schedule. You're on like six hours a day. I guess so, because I hadn't heard about the guy driving into the Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. And that was just last week. <laughs> that was Wednesday. Yeah, here's what you do. You, you start, you Google Sands Casino, because that's where all the good stuff happens. Okay. <laughs> and then you go from there. Yeah, we pull, we, uh, I have the, the Channel 69 news app on my phone, which sounds like I'm making it up as a plug, but it's a real thing. Right, when right, we right. go to write the monologue jokes, that's where I get a lot of the news stories. You know, I just got a smartphone about two weeks ago on the 19th, and I haven't gotten up the strength yet to download mm. the WFMZ app, because I don't want to feel like <laughs> I have work on my hip. Uh, so yeah, you don't want to carry it with you. Yeah. I mean, it's enough to do it. Like you said, all those hours, I don't know if I want it on my phone. Yeah, because there's, you, you are on camera quite a bit, uh, according to you, and I have no reason to doubt you. Uh, <laughs> but outside of when you're actually on, on screen, how much work goes into pre-production and then compiling the lot. stories? <laughs> so it's exactly, We really are on the same page. Right, well, it's exactly well, like this show. Uh, on my part. Other people have a lot to do. Yeah, me too. Yeah, these guys. I put these guys to work like champions. I just show up five minutes before the show. That one guy's got to look up all those celebrity birthdays. Yeah. it's a lot of work. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. We have producers that do that. So basically, I show up. If I go on air at 5.30, I show up at 4.30 and right. read through the scripts that the producer that's worked all night, you know, writing. I, I read through them, and then by the time the news comes on, I've, I'm, I'm familiar with what I'm going to be talking about. And then that's, that's pretty much it. Now, are you a morning guy? Like, are, are, did I am you, now. Did you want a morning one? <laughs> right. I was, did you start morning, or you just kind of no, got used to it? No, I uh, got used to it. I, you know, I had heard bad things about it, like people dropping out because they just couldn't take it. But I, uh, I would do that in a second. <laughs> I, I got used to it, and it, you know, it really doesn't bother me. Yeah, because uh, you, you start on the air at 5? 5.30. So, 5.30. So what time do you have to be in studio? 4.30. So what time do you wake up? 3 o'clock. Is this your bedtime already? <laughs> what time is it? <sighs> Too late, apparently. Around 8. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I should be in bed now, but I usually don't get to bed till around 9. But I, oh. I aim for 8. It's reckless. <laughs> you just, your ego's right. You're just a night out. Your body can't catch. <laughs> I saw a clip uh, when, I was, when I was doing the research. Uh, you were asked once what you would do if you weren't an on-camera journalist. Right. Uh, you answered professional model. And then you went, you, you did a piece. So we actually have uh, a little bit of that. I want to be on top. A career as a top model first caught my eye through watching America's Next Top Model on TV. But show creator Tyra Banks doesn't make male models, so I contacted Lori Bianco at Pro Model and Casting Agency in Bethlehem. I'm actually going to be looking here. You're looking here. My model experience began with an improvisational screen test to see how I look on camera. You've got to let me do this, Samantha. You cannot, you just can't rule me. Oh. Give me a break. <laughs> 
that's great. So did thank you, you. Did talk you have about a good time pretending. Doing it? Talk yeah. about pretending. Well, you talked about that. So you started. You were you were pretending. You were doing uh, on air pieces on the side from your other job. Are you doing modeling on the side? Now? No, we, nothing we cut came out. of that. Unfortunately. We cut it out for time, uh, but you did a photo shoot for uh, it was a, a knitting magazine, uh -huh, right? Was the uh -huh. one, and so you were modeling the sweaters with the patterns, right? So, and that was, but that was an actual run, like it wasn't just a shoot for that. It was, you know, there's well, a while, real, you can find the magazine somewhere, I imagine, with your I, pictures. I imagine I looked, but I could never find it. So did we. Modeling game's tough, man. It's tough to break in. It is uh, tough. It is tough. But I have to tell you, that was one of the uh, most gratifying stories that I've ever done in my entire career. I, I really enjoyed it. Not that I would seriously be a model, but it just, uh, it was just fun putting it together. I really it looked like it. You looked like you were having a great time the whole I time. I did. This is really a great audience. I yeah, I agree. Everything. They're fantastic. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're all very attractive. I find if you just keep saying things, they clap at them. Uh, so you're on uh, in the morning and at noon. You're, uh, mm -hmm. there's, there's an evening news broadcast. Is there a late night show at Channel 69? Uh, 10 o'clock. It's a news program? And then we have a Spanish news at 11 o'clock. After that, is there maybe like a late night comedy show? No. Would you like one? No. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know a guy. We could probably set the. <laughs> I like how earnestly he just said no. We don't, not interested. <laughs> not having it. Hey, uh, we, we like honesty in our guests. Oh, good. good, good. We, we've gotten it. Uh, good, so good. we know it is, it is late for you. We want to get you out of here. Uh, you're on the air tomorrow morning, right? Yes. At 5.30? Yes. I had to think about that. Um, you gave me your schedule. I have that. You, <laughs> I. We uh, we have a guest fill-in anchor tomorrow because the one that's usually there is off. You? No, I'm I'm going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> but Eve Tannery, my co-anchor, mm -hmm. is going to be off next week, so we have a guest filling in. You have for somebody her. filling in. Do you know mm -hmm. who that is? I do. Is it Pat Jansen? No, it's not Pat. <laughs> it's ah, not Pat. It's unfortunate. He's available. I'm yes. Just putting that out there. It's Melanie Falcon. Terrific. Uh, and it's Music Monday tomorrow? Yes, we have John Valerio coming in. He's going to play, uh, I think, a little acoustic guitar for us, and that's at 8.40 and 8.50. That's a reasonable time to get up. If you said it was at like 5.45, I would just, <laughs> I might Tebow it. Uh, right. that's, <laughs> it's just that you're on so early. I know, it's, it's early. But there are people that get up that early, and believe it or not, um, we're looking at maybe making the show a little earlier. See, I got to fight to catch you at noon, and that's that's <laughs> tough for me to get up. Oh, you're a you're a late riser. Oh yeah. Okay. It's it's more like a late afternoon uh, riser if I have any saying. Well, it. what time do you have to be in bed? I don't. No. Um, <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, well, like I said, you you have to be up very early in the morning at an un unreasonable but hour. But I, I, I'm going to stick around because I want to uh, hear Dasher's. Oh, presentation. by all means. Yeah. yeah. I think we all want to yeah. see Dasher. <laughs> We're going to get to him in just a little bit. Uh, but you're more than welcome to stick around. Uh, Mr. Cordova, thank you so much for pretending to be on television. Thank you. I had a great Let's time. Let's hear it one more time. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you.